it's Lisa. I've just completed an art journal and I'd like to do an art journal flip through and show you in particular the pages that I have not done process videos on before but, but I'll show you all the pages and just spend more time on those that haven't been videotaped. Uh, this is the last page that I did, my title page, and there was a video for it. It used distress paints and some stenciling and a little bit of stamping uh, with paint on this uh, title page. This spread was also videotaped. I used jelly prints, the large 8x10, where I inked them up and then I flipped the journal over and pressed it against the, the jelly plate rather than using the small jelly plates to sort of stamp on, on my art journal. I kind of wanted to see how that uh, process worked. The quote, avoiding unhappiness is not the road to happiness, is from the movie Hector and the Search for Happiness, which I highly recommend. I'm not much of a movie person, but it's a British film and I really liked it. This spread and this one went together in one video where I used distress paint or excuse me, Distress Ink Pads, and I, I think it was ink pads and not the paint. I can't remember for sure, but I put the color down on my craft sheet, added water, and then flipped the um, journal over into, I'm pretty sure it was the paint, um, into the color and got my background that way. But I got very different looks here. This one went on to have some more stenciling, some uh, stamping with uh, the 3 by 5 jelly plate with some black and gray color on it, some more stenciling, and then a book paper design for this sunshine uh, on the top layer. This one had the color with the distress paints on the back, and then um, what I put on top was some stenciling, and I think I used iridescent medium, uh, which is Liquitex. This happened like almost a year ago, so that's why I can't remember exactly what I did for each of these pages. Uh, but I'm pretty sure this is iridescent medium to get that beautiful uh, color. And then I cut out the stamped and cut out my leaves. I stamped them on book paper using a variety of um, distress inks and then did the fall stamp, uh, cut those letters out and I think I used some markers on those. So let me show you a few couple of close-ups of these two pages. I got very different looks with the same technique uh, for the background. This is one that I have not filmed before. Um, I'll have to put the blog that I followed on the screen for you. I can't remember the name of it right off the top of my head. But I have I really liked the way she did things, and I don't exactly know how she did it, but I liked the look. So my at attempt to get the look uh, that she was doing is to just paint different sections and random sections in different colors of just regular acrylic paint. And then I took the lines kind of where the paint came together and made those the stems for my flowers. The flowers are painted with Martha Stewart pearl paints and then outlined with some white um, Faber-Castell marker and just a little bit of doodling on the page. I did do a video for this one called Spinning Plates. I remember I didn't know quite where I was going with it until I got these three on there and then it kind of hit me that I wanted to talk about trying to do so many things at one time um, and did some stenciling on a painted background and then stenciled around the edges with one of my favorite uh, Crafters Workshop stencils. Just little squares. I don't think this got videotaped. I, I couldn't find it on YouTube uh, earlier. What I did for the background was did more jelly printing and then for this uh, foreground I stenciled with um, the, again the Martha Stewart pearl paints. I have several different blues and purple colors and I just used those in sort of a graduated design to create this sort of wave look going across the bottom like kind of like an ocean look and wrote my journaling in then on top of that and then this is stencil this is um, probably modeling paste with a little bit of silver paint in there something with it to give it a little bit of texture so it's got a lot of shimmer to this page 
This one I know was not uh, videotaped, and it's one of my favorite pages in this art journal. Last year was a really challenging year for medical issues for my family, hospitalization, surgeries, a lot of serious things and not as serious things, but still tons of doctor's appointments. And I found myself going to doctor's appointments with family members almost every day. I mean, three or four appointments a week, very often on different days. And so I decided around November that I needed to make time for myself to have at least one day a month that was just about me, just to leave the house and go somewhere that didn't have to do with a doctor or a hospital. Um, so I started doing that. And I think November's I went for a massage and I wrote down on this several different things that I wanted to do. Some of them I've done and some of them I haven't. I've taken a a couple of cooking classes. I've been to the Biltmore Estate a couple of times. Haven't been to a movie. As I said, I'm not much of a movie person, but that was just one of the ideas I've had. I've done some different things than what are, are listed here, uh, but I've had some time away most months uh, to myself. It's been a lot of fun. To do the page, I used, I uh, believe, watercolor crayons on the background. This is a stencil, a Kelly Perky stencil that I got from Simon Says Stamp, and I put it down and misted it over it, or inked over it with some I believe a sponge and some distress uh, ink and then I took it up or, or I outlined rather all the numbers and then took it up and kind of filled in uh, the middles with what I wanted to say. The rest of it is just hand lettering and this is as close to doodling as I can come. That's not my it's something that I'm naturally good at but I like doing it and it was a really fun uh, page to do and it has very special meaning to me. This one got a video. It's using the three by five jelly plate and I did some stamping using the jelly plate as well. There's a process video for this one also. It uses a bunch of different book papers and a little bit of music paper for the background and lots of color, created a house uh, design here and then added some flowers and I got this quote from Pinterest some days you have to create your own sunshine and I just loved that quote this one's been a pretty well received process video and this one is a really interesting one using laminating film there's also a video for this I was jelly printing but I used laminating film to pick up my design from the jelly plate you can do this with tape or anything sticky to pick up your design and then I made sure I left some blank area and journaled uh, what I wanted to say into this design and on and there's a little bit of book paper and places in the background and some of it I didn't put anything underneath this one, I got the idea from a very famous um, artist in media. I liked her idea. She had used the um, you know, tissue paper in the background and then put something like this in the foreground. I said, I don't recall. It's been, this was back at Christmas. What I wanted to say on this page was to talk about this year, last year, I did not decorate for Christmas. I got sick myself just with a cold uh, Thanksgiving week when I normally do my decorating and I just said forget it. I just don't have the energy to do it this year so I didn't put out a single thing for Christmas I don't think. Nothing to, to decorate and so I just journaled about that a little bit on this page that has you know not some Christmas color but not a whole lot. This year I do plan to decorate. This has a video and it's one of my favorite pages from this particular art journal. It was bringing in a new 2016. In 2016, I was very much looking forward to it, hoping for a better year, and so far, it has been a better year. Um, we've had a lot fewer incidents of, and issues this year so far, so we're very happy about that. This uses those little tiny um, jelly plates. This is the um, hexagon shape. I think I gave myself those for Christmas and so I wanted to try them out and I had a lot of fun using doing those and then some more with that numbering stencil and then added the uh, stamped butterflies. Just say This one has a video. It's one of my favorites. Now I must have been in a real mood when I did this 
look page <laughs> because I like bright colors, but this one has a rather dramatic, almost angry look to it um, with some paint in the background, stenciled on some stars and stuff here. But where I got my words is I went through some of my books and I just took a piece of regular scotch tape and put it over words that I wanted and picked them up and then put them on the page. So it says, when it appears, drawn out, inconsiderate, take a moment, silence the sabotaging and it just continues on uh, to sit to create a message that I wanted to say here um, sometime shortly after Christmas say so I don't know what was going on but whatever it was it generated that uh, page I think this one got a, a video but I'm not sure um, I did some stenciling in the background and I went around the edge with stamping of a bunch of doily stamps those are my mind's eye stamps and then I put my journaling, I um, put down a mask, uh, d a die cut, and then went over it with some white paint or gesso, and then journaled inside that area. This one I do not believe got a video, but it's also one of my favorite pages. It started with uh, some paint on the background and then misting over a, just a real detailed stencil to create kind of a tone-on-tone -tone look. Some more of those little mini jelly plate squares, and then I went around the edges with uh, gelatos to give them some dimension. This design was done with a uh, die cut. I put down, uh, outlined it, and then I colored it in with uh, markers and some, maybe some watercolors and stuff. And um, it looks like I kind of went over it maybe with some uh, Mod Podge in the end because there's a little bit of gloss there too. I was experimenting here with the technique of doing water coloring with your jelly plate jelly prints. A friend uh, linked me up a video to watch online where this is done. Mine didn't come out that great. I don't, I don't have a square punch, so I had to cut my squares with my paper trimmer, and I was using real thin like deli prints to do this, and it was just, it just didn't come out really very good, but I tried to make the best of it and sort of fill in uh, some journaling with that. This one does have a, a video that goes with it, and it is using the deli prints uh, or deli paper prints off the jelly plate. And I just loved how these came out. So be sure and check out that video if you haven't already. For this background, I painted the magenta color, and then I did some more stamping with the uh, small, in this case, rectangular jelly plate, one of the minis. I also went over a, this stencil, I think, is cut from the silhouette and added, did some paint there and then just uh, you know, typed, or write, wrote up a bunch of my thoughts on that page. This has a video where I was comparing gessoed pages to non-gessoed pages. This one I think had the gesso on the back and this one didn't have the gesso uh, as a starting point and you get a little bit different look on each one. I did some stenciling and then I went did some jelly printing with paint and I put down a mask and did that outlining and coloring thing again that I did on one of those other pages and it's just it's a really pretty page and I like the colors from it as well. This has a video uh, using um, book paper for the background and then um, a, some stamped flowers and then I did some hand drawing. I hand cut my bird here and put some gesso down and wrote in my journaling. I think I hand drew my, fly, uh, my clouds. This design comes from what's left over here, where I put the stencil down, missed it over it, and then I had all that mist on the stencil, so I put the stencil down over here to, to kind of get rid of the rest of that mist, and I watercolored and filled in these designs. I added some washi tape, and then wrote in my journaling and just a little bit of doodling to go with this in different places. This page definitely has a video on it. It's a recently done page where I gessoed 
over a stencil and then I added a lot of mists and I sponged off some of the mists and I ended up with this real soft uh, color palette also a little stamping and then used some stickers uh, letter stickers I like using letter stickers in my art journal because I don't use them that much in my scrapbooking so it's a way to kind of use them up this spread did not get completed until recently. I was playing with some a stencil um, and doing some coloring, and coloring kind of bothers my hands to do a lot of it. It's just me. It uh, doesn't really matter what kind of uh, pens I'm using, but they get kind of tired of uh, doing a lot of detail coloring. Uh, but I finished this up the other night, and so I added some washi tape uh, strips to add a little bit more color, and put a little bit more stenciling over here, and I had lots of room to write, and I started writing, happiness is a good book, and just lots of things, everyday things that make me happy, and just sort of capturing those for this point in time. This did get a video, and it was a popular video, Channel Your Passions for Good. The background is also jelly printed, but I jelly printed the book paper first, and then I Mod Podged it onto uh, the art journal, added these circles using uh, like the center of your glue dots, your little roller, makes a good stamp, put that in paint and stamp on, added some additional um, stenciling here and the journaling is kind of subtle because it's sort of tone on tone and a few stickers for the title now to get the color on the background of this one I used um, Dilutions Mists. I love the colors. They're gorgeous, but boy, you can get a lot of color. So to get my color here, I sponged on the color rather than spraying it on, and I really like the effect. Um, I also did some stamping, and I wasn't really sure about the stamping in the black ink at first. It didn't come out as dark as I wanted it, and I added a little bit of additional coloring to it, but I like it. Um, it took me a little bit of time to get used to it, and then I've done just a little bit with the white pen. Uh, I discovered if you put white pen on the Dilutions Mist, it picks, the pen picks up that, <laughs> that mist, uh, so that's not maybe the best thing to do, but I did get some fun uh, color out of this page. Should close up. This one, I put uh, gold paints on the background. And then on top of them, I took a bunch of my jelly prints that I'd done on regular paper and cut them into triangles. What I was going for was an exploding pie kind of look, but they're all you know in different papers and different sizes. They just sort of pull, pull out here and then came up with the title, uh, Break Out and Be Yourself. So this is one of my favorite pages. I just love the colors. I wanted to play with some stamps I had gotten from Stamping Up. So I did some stamping here, add a little bit of stenciling to the page, and then had lots of room for journaling. And I started with a neutral background. That is, as you can tell, not my normal thing. Um, so it's not colors that I'm normally just in love with, but it made a nice change for me. I was experimenting here with book paper. I have some wonderful children's books, and I include some of these book paper pages in my mixed media kits. And in this one, when I came across it, I liked what it had to say, because it talks about the Robin and the Robin's son, and they have a disagreement, and then it says, then Robin and Robin's son decided to agree on Plum, so they went back to town, and they went once more and wished they had agreed before. Basically, they they fought about something and they came to a conclusion and wish they hadn't wasted all that time arguing and I just feel like there's a lot of that going on in the world and I did some journaling about that. Um, my coloring here though, coloring is not my best event and that looks more like a kindergartner did it <laughs> than, than an adult. Uh, so coloring is not my greatest thing but I, you know, I had fun just playing around one evening doing that. I had more success with my uh, children's pages on this layout, and I'll share with you on the screen the name of the art journaler whose idea this came from. She had done a variety of different things on the background of her page, including some uh, tissue paper, and I went with that kind of concept. I did use a photo on mine. I didn't have like a magazine clipping to use. I've gotten rid of just about all my magazines, um, so I used an old 
old photo that I didn't need in scrapbooking and some, um, and say some paper from a children's book, some music paper, lots of fun things on this page. And it ended up with a little more neutral kind of vintagey look um, going for it. So it's a little bit different for me. And with that in mind, I wanted to see what would happen if I did a whole page full of tissue paper, but in this case, deli paper, not tissue paper. Deli paper has a little more substance to it. Um, so I tried that over some book paper or music print, and the music print did not have any color or anything added to it first. Then I put the deli paper over it, and then I added lots of color with acrylic paints. This one has a fair amount of watercolors. This is a lot of acrylic paints. There's some watercolors. I never really blended the two before, but I like the finish of it. This one does have a video. This one does not. I was just kind of wrapping up the journal with uh, stencil and some mists, and then it gave me lots of places to journal. And how I got this design in the middle and got a nice even design on both sides of the page is I cut a die cut uh, on my silhouette, and then I cut it in half, and I temporarily adhered it to each side of the page and then I can mist over it because what happens when you have, you know, especially a curvy page like this, if you try to lace a stencil or something down on there, you don't, you, you miss a lot in the middle. You can kind of see the, the lines of this stencil are really good on the outside, but there's not much in the middle. So I was trying to avoid that by using the die cut. And then just the final page to be continued and I had run my misting off the page and I ended up running my words off the page. So I just sort of went with that whole concept. So that is my latest art journal. Um, this one was over a longer period of time than previous one. I've done a lot of other things in the last year, a lot of scrapbooking and stuff, but I'm really enjoying art journaling again. I, I had worked on it, I, th I think there's stuff in here, a couple of pages at least every month uh, that I did in art journaling. I don't know that I missed any months, but um, I want to keep doing it. I really, really enjoyed uh, doing this particular one. So thank you for joining me today. And if you haven't checked out the, uh, the videos that go with this, there are links throughout this particular video for each of the ones that have an individual video. Thanks again.